Hey, good afternoon. This is Zorina Spice. Today I want to share a video here with you all that I am. Um, my squash from my garden. I just pick it and um, it's, it's, it's a big squash. So, you know, I just pick it and uh, I just want you all to see how this squash is long. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make um, some squash broil or you could call it fry with some beef so you know squash is continued this is how long it is just wanted to share this with y'all and show you so i'm gonna show you real quick i cut it in two but you know you have to cut it up so i'll cut it in a few more pieces like these I see this squash like a few days ago was very small, small um, than this what left here. But then all of a sudden, like in two days, it get all big. Yeah, so now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna cut it like this. You know, you could peel it with your hand, but since I have the cutting board here, I'm gonna cut it out like this. So basically, I'm gonna clean all of them like this. Then when I finish, I show you how I get it cut up. I cut it in a small piece. So I finished this one and um, just want you to see this. Anyway, but I think, you see you have to cut it in two half because we don't want the seed. So what I'll do with the seed, I take the seed off. So I cut it like this and I take the seed, all the seed like this, I take it off. Maybe you could take a fork and pick it out or a yeah, easier way you could do it like this but like because this inside here is good too so the fresh of the squash in there you know you could do it like this and then see this is how i'm going to continue do it and finish all up we don't need a seed inside but we can certainly use the inside of squash So now with these here now, you could pick out the seed like this. See like how it is here? You just go like this because these inside here is all good to eat. Like this. So I'm just going to finish all this up and then you'll see the next step. I'm going to clean all up and then you'll see the next step. So it's finished here. So I just cleaned the squash, the skin and the seed out of the squash. I just want y'all to see how nicely done. As I'll show you, the top part you don't have to clean there, no seed in it. So we cut it up just like this. But you know, the bottom part, you notice you don't have no seed. So now these here, so we're gonna, I'm gonna cut. So now, cut it this way. And if you encounter any seed, there may be a few seed in there so we don't know about. Then you cut it up like this. But it's better off using the board because it's easier. Yeah, so this sits in it. Just to give you an idea how I cut it up. I also want to show you I have some beef here, which I'll be cooking with the um, the squash. Uh, you know, you could use chicken, you could use beef, you could use lamb, you can use fish. It's just all um, what your choice are, and whether you cook with it, it will be really nice. Sometimes you fry some fish and you put it into to cook, it tastes great. Also, I would like to tell you that um, the squash here, 
um we like it's like a stew a broil a stew a fry way but it will taste good so keep on watching for the next step as you can see i'm still cleaning the squash i mean i'm cutting it up i haven't finished but uh, what i want to do i washed the beef already out and now i'm gonna uh, put it to boil in the meantime i'm cleaning the the squash so i'll see you in the next step so i put my pan and it's heating up there so now i'm gonna put also about four tablespoons of oil depends on what you're cooking So I'm gonna fry this meat up a little with the oil and the seasoning before we put the squash in. So as you see the oil hot, so now I'll put the meat in. So I'm gonna add some salt, you know, just put salt to the taste. So I'm, I'm buying this meat, I'm going to add the seasoning right to this meat, season the meat, and let it fry to the oil. So now I'm going to add a little um, black pepper. This is for the meat, to season up the meat, and a little pepper. So now I'm gonna let this season in here and boil. We're gonna fry. And so I want you to see that the meat is well seasoning up to the oil. So the next step, let's see. This is already seasoned and fry to the oil. So this is the next step. As you know. Continue the cooking. Anyway, um, these are some of the um, seasoning I'll be using. I have some onion, I have some sweet pepper. This is onion, sweet pepper, some beef clove of garlic. I have some season for my garden, you know, different kind of seasoning. I have some ser um, serrano pepper and some grilled really, really pepper. So I'll put all these in and let you see the next step. Um, they're going to fry and then we're going to add the squash in. So this is going into there right now. Now I'm going to add the squash in. The squash is washed, clean, and everything. So we add this in. So I want to take a quick look before I uh, put the lid on and let you see that I put in the squash, everything look good. Now the only thing is we need to um, boil, just put it, the lid on it and everything coming down nicely. See you in the next step. Okay, let's just check, see what's happening with this. Um, okay, if you notice, it's cooking, it's coming down nicely. Um, still got way to go, it's half away, and um, but it's looking good, it's coming nicely. I'll let it cook, you gotta cook until it comes down till at the end, then you would all this liquid will have to go. I'll see you then. Hey guys, see my squash is it's still cooking, but it come a long way, so now it's, it's drying down. And it will soon finish, but um, you know, if you like it like this way, you could take it like this way. But if you want it a little more drier, you can uh, make more concentrate. But this way is good too. But I would like it to dry a little more. I like it a little concentrate, and um, it will finish finish soon. And you guys will see how it done. Okay, guys. So my squash is finished, nicely cooked and done. Uh, it's melted. You could notice the squash is melted and um, it tastes really great. But you know, you can um, try this out. You could make chicken with it. You could make um, 
fish as I said, any type of meat, beef, whatever. Or you could cook it plain if you're not into um, meats and fishes. So this is how um, it turned out very nice, tastes really great. You can eat roti, rice, whatever you want to eat it with or whatever choice or you could use as a salad. So um, I want to call this, it's a stew, it's a broil. It's, you could call it a stew, you could call it a broil squash, you could call it a fry squash. But it's all nicely done. Some people would add tomato paste. I'm not a fun lover of tomato paste, but I like it the natural way. So this is Zoe Spice. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. And please subscribe. Stay safe. Bye.